Hello, um, today we're going to create an installer for the snake game and the snake game now got a name Danger Rope Food Hope. So yeah, uh, let's close that one. Here's our installer. Click next, we get the license agreement. We get to choose what to install. So only one choice. Where to install it and then install it and execute the program and it opens up on the mother screen. So here we go. And after it's installed, it's installed so I can find it in, find it in Windows. And it has an uninstaller also. So to manage this, I used Nullsoft scriptable installer system, NS. IS and they have a newer version out since July, it's a half a year now. But uh, I have scripts from version 2 since before. So I downloaded version 2 because I'm not sure they are totally compatible, I have no idea. I will use version 2, maybe version 3 works fine. To create an installer, you need an installer NSI. To show the license text, you need a license text. And that's about it. And then you need a compiled binary, of course. We scroll up in the installer. So first it says, uh, please use for reference, but change the app name, including extra file name and company name if you reuse it. And this is based on examples from that link. So first we're going to define our name of our program as the app name, our company name. And then we can scroll down and get to pages. And here we got macros that in search the different pages. Let's open the installer again. Here we go. So it starts with a welcome page. So you have page welcomes us, next is license with the license text, and with license text. Next is components, and that's to choose what component you want to install. Next is directory, where it should be installed. Next is start menu, start menu, folder page configuration, and it puts in the registry key in Windows, and values where that should be placed. And next we have page inst, inst files, so install files. After that we got finish page, run text, run, run, and the name of, of the application. And it executes it and runs it. Then we have a few more pages, which is a welcome page. Confirm and install files and finish, and this is the uninstalled pages. So I can run an uninstaller also. We have the language that you use, so we use English. Then we have a section with the app name, which is named dummy, because you could name them, but it didn't matter what you name them, so it's dummy. And here we got information on what files should be installed when we're installing files. So we have the danger rope, fold hope executable. We got the icon and let's, I haven't talked about icon, so let's bring up GIMP. And here I created a snake in 256 times 256. It's a little bit big for an icon, but that's the resolution I selected. Then we export it and we export it as a CICO. So icon, but three first letters. SEO. Export that and we get to choose uh, how many bit planes we need, that means how many colors we're going to have. And as, as you can see here, if we have four bit planes and 16 slot palette, you got very strange red and green. That should be gray out here. So that's not correct. We can choose uh, 256 palette or we can choose 24 bit. And my picture is 24 bit. 
Then we have an interesting comment down here. Large icon and compression are not supported by all programs. Older applications might not open this file correctly. And that's because you couldn't have icons that was 256 times 256 in Windows before. They had to be smaller. I'm not totally sure if it was 60, 64 times 64 just. Anyhow, I will uh, click out compression just to be safe. And then export it. I already exported it, so I won't press export here. But that's how, how you make an icon. And then you specify the icon name that's going to use. You specify the license that we're going to use. So we need a license and my license right now is kind of empty placeholder license. Uh, you can use this code, just uh, remove my name from it if you use it, okay? And then we're going to name which libraries we use. Because they need to be packed into the installer and installed together with the program. And I'm using two libraries. I use an OpenGL32 and FreeGlut. Now it seems like OpenGL is default in Windows or something like that because I didn't need to install it. So I removed it with a comment here. So if it doesn't work, then please tell me in the comments and I have to fix it, right? Uh, then we have uh, something for Windows Registry, which I'm not totally sure. <laughs> um, and the uninstaller. And some information for start menu. And here it also needs to be updated in the executable name. Description, I have no idea what this does. And we have the uninstall section. that we tell the system installer, or uninstaller in this case, what to install on or what to uninstall. As a name of our, of our game, exe, the icon, the license, and the both two libraries, and uninstall the uninstaller in the end also, and then remove directory, uh, and re remove the register keys. So that's the uh, installer. So let's build this. First, actually, I need to clear it, I have it already, so I don't need to build it, but let's delete it and build it anyhow. So clean the project, build the project, uh, and under workspace, workspace build release bin, we got first the executable for the game, and then we got the installer. So this installer then contains the full game, so you just need to copy that um, to wherever you want to distribute your program. And yes, I want to quit. <laughs> um, yeah, shorter video today, um, shorter topic. So uh, download links are in the, des the description. The installer should be included there. If it doesn't work, tell me in the comments. I will try to figure out why. I think uh, next time I'll probably do a cube in OpenGL, I think, or I go through the editor uh, and my environment for, for setting up and compiling and things like that. See you.